Now on to serious business. So Jimmy Lee, he actually emailed me this. So he sent it to everyone, I think. <laughs> the first time I saw it, Jimmy emailed it to me. Uh, well, let's watch it and then we can debate. Okay. Yeah, so here's the video Jimmy sent me. Now this is apparently Dr. Fadl, Fadal. Dr. Fadal. How do you say it? Fadal. Because he's Lebanese. Yeah. Fadal. Also giving me Dr. Mike vibes, not in like a the bad way that we, but like just like suave, jacked, you know what I mean? He said he just needs 10 minutes, but I sent him okay. the Zoom. Okay, that's exciting. What's up fellow foot soldiers? My name is Dr. Fidel Chauman. I'm a resident physician in psychiatry. I also happen to be Lebanese, like our friend AB. So this is basically what it would look like if he didn't fail his pre-med courses. Today uh, I'm here- AB, to that was a shot fired at you. It'd be your own people. It'd always be your own people. At least with the Lebanese. Pretty funny. Pretty funny little goop. He got you pretty good, got bro. You. This is beef now. Of course. Today I'm here to talk to you about the allegations. Jimmy Lee has been very, very unhinged on the podcast for a very long time and has caused distress to the beautiful crew that we have over at H3. Thank you. And I wanted to investigate whether or not he does have histrionic personality disorder. Well, during our phone interview, which happened to be a psychiatric evaluation, he told me to ride a camel and offered to take my <laughs> Asian girlfriend to a Chinese restaurant within the first five minutes. <sighs> Throughout our conversation, I was able to place him in every single category uh, that would be for histrionic personality disorder. And I can confidently say that he does have it and he might even be on the spectrum. So I can't give him a handicap sticker for being mentally handicapped, but <laughs> I can assure you that he is a funny guy. Also very sick. Okay, now, like, <laughs> first of all, hilarious. Well delivered. Funny video. Yeah. But, but, but like, would a doctor really make this video about his... That's what I'm wondering. I want to know how much Jimmy paid him. That's what... I got to yeah. figure this out. I don't think he... I don't know. I don't know what happened here. Well... <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but this whole this whole weekend, Jimmy was having one of his fanfares. Right. He kept messaging, messaging me and Cam, just video clips of him just doing God knows what, just just ridiculous shit. He so, called me too. Did he call you, Zach? Of course he called. Yeah, me. I didn't pick up just because I was busy. But you didn't answer, Zach. No, I. I it's, he calls me at least twice every week, and I'm always in communication with him in one shape or form. Would you prefer if he stopped calling you so much? No, because I, I feel it, it's part of... Someone's got to keep checking in yeah, on him. Yeah, someone's got to keep tabs right, on Jimmy. Right, right, yeah. right. So I always want to know what he's up to. But he will he thinks that everyone is on his time. So he'll call you when it's like 10 o'clock Jersey time. Where 1 a.m. Whatever. 1 a.m. here, right? Or no? No, no, no. Yeah. Seven. Around. It'd be in the morning here. Or oh, even so early. Calls okay. him at okay. like seven yeah. in the yeah. morning. Yeah. Yeah. And then everything has to be right now. I got to know right now, this moment, I got to book, do it, do it, do it. <sighs> and it's like, well, it doesn't work like that. He's the boss, man. He's used to running the show. He's the big head honcho dentist. You, you know, as a side note, I was on Hollywood Boulevard on Saturday and some fan rolled up and they're like, hey, have you seen Jimmy? We've been circling the block looking for Jimmy. <laughs> and I'm like, He's in New York. <laughs> they thought he was in L.A. with the fanfare thing. But uh, shout out that fan. I like the idea of Jimmy just being one of those uh, Hollywood people that yeah. roams the street all day. Hold it. For pictures. Oh, so most a lot of people are saying this is fake. Um, but again, he seems to be a real doctor. So people are saying he's not a licensed doctor. Because I think here when he says... Um, Mentally handicapped, but I can assure you that he is a funny guy. Well, he called him mentally handy, handicapped and I'm very ill, very, very, also very sick. Very sick. <laughs> funny, though. Yeah, I feel like this is just a guy that put on a lab coat and a stethoscope. Like, right. I'm, but I'm not a doctor. He's been making doctor content since yeah. before this. That's yeah, I don't think he they asked to... for credentials on TikTok. That's it. Well, <laughs> if he is a doctor, <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Well, no, it wasn't TikTok. I think it was Vimeo, dude. Oh, maybe even they take stuff a little more seriously. But is there. he not like a TikTok doc? Like, weren't you saying that he makes content for like on Instagram or something like that? I don't know. What do you do? You... Yeah, he makes content on on uh, Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> but I do think he's legit. I do think it. Even though he tried to diss me, I didn't fail my classes. Thank you very much. 
but uh, <laughs> he's a doctor. So if he is a real doctor, this could be a. It's a goddamn HIPAA violation. It should be a HIPAA. It's a goddamn HIPAA violation. It's my HIPAA right not to get vaccinated. God damn it. Don't ask me nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This dang goddamn here HIPAA right. <laughs> <coughs> Don't be asking me nothing about my health. It's my goddamn HIPAA quick, right. Why would a psychiatrist need a stethoscope? That is a fantastic question. See, it just like seems like it's just... He went to the costume store and got some doctor stuff. That is a very good well, question. I am going through his tagged photos right now, and mm -hmm. it checks out. Like, there are people at psychiatry school that are tagging him in, like, group photos. Can we pull it up? Is it public? Yeah. Uh -huh. I can I Wait, th this guy's not on a cameo, right? This was not a That's cameo. my first thought, is that this must have been a cameo. Right. There's something like that. But you don't see a cameo link on any of his socials, so... Right, I mean. I'm looking. I'm looking at Cameo. Well, he's calling in. He we can, let's links. grill his ass. My damn hippo rights. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I tell you what, man. I tried going in to see my wife on COVID. They asked to see, they asked to do a test on me. I said, that got hippo. Hey, I'm from El Yero. I said, my goddamn hippo right. Sweet. I just love this video of love dancing so much. So here is, um, oh wow, look at that tight shirt. <laughs> Yo, he's jacked, bro. And really, that's like the smallest shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> and it was posted by um, oh, okay. a psychiatry school. UCF and, Psychiatry, yeah, Dan. Yeah, in Orlando. And he's holding, this guy in the middle is holding a Psyduck. That is a psychic Pokemon. Therefore, uh, are that. I'm, that's credentials, oh, yeah. bro. I'm sold. I'll take okay, it back. Okay, I'll say it says it's officially the start of a new academic year. This is from July 1st, so he's still in school. Right, so maybe he's just a student. Well, I so maybe he, he, he hasn't gone to the chapter go. about HIPAA yet. We'll let him we'll let him go. He didn't take an oath yet, so he's not violating You're right, HIPAA, yeah, right? taking the goddamn oath. Just Th me, Florida. This is an official diagnosis, Jimmy. You are fucked in the head. <laughs> I check every category of histrionic personality disorder. You're that and also autistic. That's what he said. He goes, he's that and on the spectrum. Hold it. I can't get you a handicap black for that. Check, check, check. Uh, I'm a fan who stopped AB in Hollywood about Jimmy Lee. What a wild coincidence that we saw you there while looking for Jimmy, who is actually in New York City. How did they get confused about the city that bad? I don't know, but it's like a whole other city. I will say this fan is a legend. He <laughs> always goes to Zach's shows. He refers to himself as the front of me's hoodie guy because he had a front of me's hoodie. He had us all signed. Really nice guy. Shout oh, out. I remember that guy. I oh, also yeah. remember that yeah, guy. Yeah. 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 He always shows up to sport. Right on. Shout out. Even if Shout it's out, in the wrong dude. city, he Ow. shows up. For yeah, but Wait, I, but is Jimmy doing a thing in LA? Isn't he in LA right he's now? He's coming to LA soon. October. Oh, so maybe he just got confused on the date or something. Yeah, I was thinking, should we do something with him? But then I, I remember we pledged like once every six months max, right? Once a year, maybe so. I, I can't. I, I don't I, know if I could deal with that, to be honest with you, man. He's unhinged. You know, be fun, Zach. If he's, if you role play as his son for a day, and you guys can <laughs> sleep together in a hotel room, have meals together. <sighs> He won't. I, he he kept asking me and Cam to come out of this to this fanfare. He's like, you gotta come out. Yeah, Zachary. he's begging us to fly and out. And I'm like, all right, you pay for it. He's like, can't do it. Come <laughs> out. He was I'm asking like, us the day before too. Yeah, the day before to come fly you, out. You gotta come out. I'm like, all right, pay for our flights. Can't do it right now. You gotta come though. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I love it, man. I don't want to. I love. I think even if he is still a student, it's probably not that hard. It's not that difficult of a diagnosis. I mean, the yeah. man is a walking personality disorder. There's with peace like, and love, of course. Yeah, there's that whole like TV index yeah. where it has the regu like what it takes to be legally diagnosed. And yeah. I'm sure he'll take us through it if. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, he's calling in, so that's pretty exciting. Yep. I this full screen. I was just trying to full screen this. Uh, the chat has informed me I've been owned, I've been uh, dunked on, Psyduck is a water type pokemon not a psychic pokemon why is his name psyduck then thank you that's a great question Man. stupid ass name but i just have to acknowledge that uh i've been owned i've been owned check out 
Dr. Fidel, bro. Less, more time fucking studying uh, medicine, less time in the gym. Damn. Okay, player, let's see what you got. Folks. You know, it's funny. Um, I'm related to Fidel's on my dad's side. <laughs> you think there's a relation, potentially? Potentially. That's This is real shit, bro. <laughs> College of Medicine, Florida. Fidel Abbas. Psychiatry program. He, uh, yeah, he's not. He's not a real doctor. I mean, he's in school. He's done with med school. He's doing residency. But his credentials to be jacked are legit. I'm not a doctor. Jesus. Let's fucking go. Oh yeah, brother. Anyway, that's that. So I guess we're waiting. And uh, thank you to Doctor Fidel. Also, side note: Psyduck is a water type Pokemon that resembles a duck or bipedal. Platypus. While only classified as water type, this Pokemon also possesses psychic powers. So why isn't his type psychic? Or just like a water Maybe psychic? Maybe of the two, he's more water than a psychic, mm. you know? I mean, but... I acknowledge that he is a duck, but he's clearly a psychic duck. Take it over to Professor Oak, I don't know. I, I didn't write the book. I am going to do exactly that. <laughs> anyway, um... He is ready. Bring perfect timing, bring him on. Ready? Okay. Copy. I can't stretch this out any longer. <laughs> Doctor, let's fucking talk to oh, this man. Oh, he's stunting on us. Look, all right, scrubs and everything. Now, 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 now. Uh, welcome, first of all, to the show here, uh, Doctor yeah, yeah. Fidel. Now, let me ask you a question right at the bat. Are you a doctor? I am one hundred percent a doctor. And okay. For the comment that said, uh, for the psychiatrist, why would you use a stethoscope? Uh, I call this a really bulky red necklace. I don't know how to use it, but mm. we do have to be well versed in all aspects of medicine to correlate it uh, for medical issues relating back to psychiatric diagnos diagnoses. But um, yeah, I don't know how to use it, but we do need to use it. I'm a resident physician in psychiatry. Yeah. Okay, so so you, the resident, you do the residency after you do be the doctor. How does that work? So you go through. Oh, sorry. So. AB would probably know, but you go through four years of uh, undergraduate school, um, then you go through four years of medical school, and then that's when you're considered a doctor. Okay. And right now I'm in my residency training, so I see. I'm getting paid and operating as uh, a physician. Okay. But I haven't been able to like fully specialize or like open my own clinic yet. So. And have you taken the? Have you so you're oathed in or no? That hasn't happened yet. I'm oathed in, baby. Oh, so, oh yeah. so so was that a HIPAA violation? Yeah, so did, was that a HIPAA violation? Calling him That's uh, not a HIPAA violation, no. Okay, why? A, I mean, we're a lot, well, um, well, I could say someone has diabetes without getting like fired, right? I don't know. Can I guess it depends uh, who's asking. You're the doctor. Right? <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> I think I don't know. Know. I it's, it's in the way he phrased it. He didn't actually say that he was. He said that I didn't diagnose him. No, he said this is an. Uh, you said this is officially a psychiatric diagnosis. Oh yes, oh yes, <laughs> it is, it is. But he's not officially my patient, so I can go through like how we even got to this crazy ass point right now. Like, okay, I'm, this is, yeah. So let let me ask first of all, how did you? How did Jimmy find you? How did you guys get in touch? Oh, <laughs> Jimmy found me. Yeah, Jimmy found me. Basically. Uh, I'm dating this beautiful woman named Berithia, and she was getting me a gift. And my cousin, who's a, like a huge H3 fan, they were kind of coordinating what the gift would be. And he's like, this is the best gift ever. And, oh, you're not going to believe it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's getting me a PS5. Holy fuck. Like, sweet. Like, I'm going to buy her some jewelry. I'm going to buy this and buy that. And then, and then my friend's like, oh, like, it's way better than a PS5. Way better. And I open the package, and it's a fucking Jimmy Lee audio, audio, audio shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. So Holy. I always used to think, I'm like, who would buy this unironically? And yep. I'm standing there, I'm like, yeah, totally better than a PS5 for sure. So I post a, like, sarcastic story, like, on my Instagram. I'm like, I guess I'm a proud owner of, like, a Jimmy Lee shirt. And then, like, days go by, and then I... Me and my girlfriend were in bed looking at this like H3 like a uh, sound clip website. I don't know if you, you guys have seen that. It has like the faces of all the sound bites and you click on it. Yes, yes. We were in bed 
And then it says Jersey Outlaw DM. Hey, Doc, what's up? Love oh, the shirt. Oh, he and saw like, the time. Okay. Holy shit. Holy. So basically, we just started like a, like a back and forth. And um, I'm like, well, like um, this psychiatrist. And he's like, oh, you remind me of me. You're, you have a hot Asian girlfriend and you're a doctor. Oh, yeah, my God. You make a lot of money. And <laughs> we're just sitting in bed laughing. And then I eventually give him my number. Um, huge mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me ask huge you yep. uh, just, uh, just, uh, just an aside here. How often is he reaching out to you? Almost daily, and uh, I do I do love the guy, but yeah. I would tell him sometimes, like, hey, Jimmy, like, I'm with patients. Oh, okay, yeah, so, like, we're going to do this thing and this and that. I'm like, Jimmy, but he, I'm he, uh, he should understand I'm that as a dentist. Yeah, I just, I just have to let the psych ward burn down, though. <laughs> will, will you tell him one thing, and then you'll think he'll understand it, and then five minutes later he'll just reiterate the same thing? Has that happened to you yet? Yeah, this is group therapy for me and uh, yeah. Zach. We're trauma bonding right yeah. now. Welcome to the mailing yeah, okay, list. Okay, so, so you gave him your number, and then so uh, continue. He's texting you all the time. So I had this idea. I'm like, hey, like uh, I'm going to put the shirt on under my under my white coat. I'll take a little picture in it. And like I was like, um, you want to do like a psychiatric evaluation? I, I, brought up, I brought the idea up, and he was like, oh, that's like a, that's a genius idea. And I'm like, all right, this should be interesting. And that call, like most calls with him, ended up being like 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> um, and I've talking, I've spoken to patients who are actively hallucinating. I've spoken to patients who are withdrawing, OD'd on meth, bipolar, manic, off the edge, Kanye West style. I cannot get in a word with this guy. It was, huh? <laughs> yeah, he, he he's a guy. He's a character, brand. man. He's a he's, character. He God. was a character. And um, during this whole thing, like, I wanted to diagnose him with histrionic personality disorder. Like, a lot of people in my uh, field, uh, patients at least, sometimes they'll use, like, oh, I have this personality disorder so I can act shitty. Like, oh, I have borderline mm. personality. Mm. And sometimes I'll be like, yeah, well, I'm an Aquarius and my wife's a Virgo. So we sometimes I beat her. Like, that's just what it is. And I'm like, nah, you're just an asshole. You know what I mean? So I'm <laughs> yeah. like, let me let me see if like this histrionic thing i don't know where he got this from like it's a very specific thing like people usually know like avoidant personality disorder or borderline personality disorder but i'm like there must be something to this so like i wedged in like into the conversation like trying to fit the diagnostic criteria so i'll just go through the icd-10 which is the diagnostic criteria we use for a personality disorder so we have markedly disharmonious attitudes and behavior uh, affecting functioning, it's pervasive and pervasive and clear patterns, maladaptive to a broad range of personal and social situations. That's for sure. That's true. Um, <laughs> appearing during childhood, sometimes due to some childhood trauma. So I've listened He's, to yeah, your podcast that's true. in the yeah. past, yeah, and yeah. it's caused a considerable personal distress and strains relationships. And um, mm -hmm. so that's just the, the criteria for a personality disorder to, to so, be diagnosed. So then we, now we move on to the uh, to the yeah. to the extra stuff. So we're in so the, the gate with we're in the gate with the personality disorder. Uh, now let's go histrionic. Yeah. So histrionic, attention-seeking behavior, doing that. Yeah. 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 Dramatic behavior. Hold on. Hold on. Inappropriately so, so dramatic. Dramatic behavior. I mean, yeah. Yeah inappropriately yeah. seductive behavior oh my so, god that's yo. one of the worst moments of my life is so, seeing him. like i said in the in the video that i posted uh my girlfriend was there and he made the camel jokes and then he's like yeah hot asian girlfriend how about we go to a steak dinner and like we drop her off in a chinese food place with my wife and Jesus. they can have their thing and then we can kind of switch around Holy you know what i'm saying wait, 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 it's an old timey <laughs> switch Th this this was his opening to you this was his intro to you? First five minutes, dude. You gotta be <laughs> kidding me. You gotta make a good impression. <laughs> there's nobody like this, First man. I'm just five, saying. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So there's more. Yeah, keep going. Discomfort with lack of attention. Yeah. Yeah. Excessive yeah. focus on physical appearance. I'm, I'm marking yeah. here for hairline. Here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Constantly seeking reassurance or approval. So that could be like texting and calling Zach and Cam 
shooting ideas and stuff. Or me now. Well, you're welcome, guys. You're I get fucked, like dude. You're, I get you're in the trenches now, buddy. Dude, I find it interesting. I find it interesting uh, that he's so focused on you because, like, until now, you didn't even have any connection to the show. You're just like an Instagram doctor. Not even a, a, no offense, but like relatively small following. And I just find it interesting that he latched onto you so ha so hardcore that he's been texting you all day. Like he, know, like he'll I take know. anything he'll get in terms of attention. I, I think what he sees is he sees a guy. You are a good-looking dude, and he figures, oh, what? You know, the, the, the the doctor, he's a good-looking yeah. dude. I know, but what he sees, oh, he's a good-looking dude. You know, he, let, let's hook up, let's hang out with this guy. It'll be good for the shtick. You think he's just looking for good-looking dudes? To I hang think out with? that's what he's doing. I think you wanted to what? say. I think he just wanted to tell the doctor he's good-looking, Zach. <laughs> no. I'm just giving my analysis. You're a good-looking dog, dog. Do you, do, Zach, do, do, Zach, do you think Zach, he I fucks? Think super Zach, good looking. Uh, Does this guy fuck? Oh yeah, he fucks. Yeah, yeah. he fucks hard, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true, doctor? <laughs> do you fuck hard? Um, yeah. 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 yeah he says yeah. He said yes. <laughs> with my with my girlfriend now, though. Yeah, yeah. And, and so um, it's exclusive. and have we um, have we covered all the categories, or is there more? Oh, there's more. Suggestible, easily influenced by others, and believing relationships are closer than they are. That's the last one. Dude, so, yeah, I think you're right. He he hits everyone. He's a perfect score. With peace and love, he has histrionic personality disorder, and I threw in the spectrum disorder uh, in there as well, just to just because of like the disinhibited social engagements and inability to like see social cues sometimes. So. I, it's a grab. I it's a grab I can't bag. Rule it out. It's a grab I can't bag rule of mental, uh, uh, mental illness. I can't. Rule a fun it out. bag, really. It, it does it, Is it incredible to you that he was such a profoundly successful uh, dentist uh, in the face of this kind of personality disorder? Pretty incredible, isn't it? It's. Um, I mean, it's an underlying thing that's going to affect a lot of his actions, but. With personality disorders, unlike something like a schizophrenia or a bipolar disorder, these people are, they can function normally in society and not mm. have it just affect their like day to day or work life. But it's, it, I, I've had like surprisingly heart to heart conversations with him like after the fact, after this whole video. But by the way, when I mentioned that I was going to make a video for him, it was nonstop texts and calls until I made the video. So that was just like a lot of pressure there. But, um, yeah, I mean, he, at the end of the day, is a nice guy, and it wouldn't have really. He's a great his guy. Work, he is. He's a great guy at his heart. He's just got old. But I jokes. see, I see a little bit of like sadness, like under the facade. Sometimes it's like, uh, like I mentioned, like oh, like my girlfriend has more followers than you, like as a joke, and he he kind of like was bothered by that. Or I'll say, uh, he'll just text me randomly with pictures of him with fans. He's like, oh, this fame thing is just a crazy thing. Oh, so it's just like. A I just it's incredible that 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 he's latched on to you before you even talk to us. He's he's look I mean it's he's spending his whole day trying to Jimmy's a he's a tick. He'll bury his head inside you. It's incredible. This this have you ever worked with a histrionic patient before? I've worked with a lot of patients and the number one rule they give me is don't give my phone number out. Oh so. well, yeah, but he's not a really a patient, <laughs> is he? No, he's I, Jimmy. Um, yeah, he's Jimmy. We typically the personality disorders that would put you in the hospital is like borderline personality disorder. So histrionic, not really. Yeah, but have you worked with a histrionic uh, person before? Oh no, this is my first one, and I'm uh, maybe I'll do like a presentation for like uh, for the rest of my residents just on like what it is and what this guy looks like. I'm actually doing a. Um, a presentation like a case conference for like the entire like uh university that i work at and the hospital on uh the relationship with sugar and uh, depression i'm actually playing one of your clips in front of this entire oh maybe room full of hundreds to even thousands of doctors that are going to be watching this so i'm i'm putting your clip in there just like as a meme what which clip of you and just Dr. Aid talking about that, like, depression and sugar thing, but that's just, like, I don't know. So, so are you, do you agree that there's a link between depression and sugar? Oh, 100%. Like, I, oh, I oh. looked into his data and several other studies coming out from, like, China and, like, South Korea and stuff, and I made an awesome presentation. I'm going to show that in there, and, uh, you know. You were influenced clients. by Dr. Aid's. 
Yeah. Oh, well, wow. Can say well, let me ask you this since you're here. Uh, artificial sweetener. Better than Love water? It. I drink it every day. Uh, my man. Look at my, <laughs> look at my Instagram, washboard abs, and I drink that shit every day. No problem. What, what's your drink of choice? Coke Zero, man. Coke fucking oh, my Zero. Man. Doctor like approved. Coke, my man. Coke Coke Zero. Zero. That's two doctors. <laughs> Doctor recommended right there. Better than um, water. You heard it from him. Quote, unquote. Yeah, but shout out AB, shout out Lebanon, let's go. Okay, let's, let's go, go Lebanon. Let's go Lebanon. Shout out. Uh, I did mention <laughs> in the beginning of uh, of my video that I live in Kissimmee, New Jersey, and my mom, Kissimmee, my mom, Florida. Right? yeah, it's a town in Florida. It translates directly to my mom's pussy in Arabic. I don't know if he told you. Are that. you serious? <laughs> that's a lot. It does. It does. <laughs> that's just that's a lot pussy? there. Pussy. Pussy. I wasn't talking about anyone specifically. That's just a joke. A lot of Lebanese people say Kissimmee, Florida. Um, so basically, you he you said you're going to make this video for him. You send it. You post it. This is very interesting that, that how this all came to fruition. Um, yeah. So in a way, when he comes on our show and he's telling super racist jokes and stuff, can we just be like, it's Jimmy. He's got histrionic. Because he's not going to change, right? We just got to embrace yeah. them as he is. He's, um, it, and if you've had a deep conversation with him too, he, he's looking for clicks. That's what he wants. And that's his idea of clicks. My idea of clicks, I love posting doctor content, but people just want to look at pictures and videos of me working out or me running around shirtless. And that's just what I do for clicks. So his thing is the, the old tiny jokes. And that's just in line when he knows it's detrimental to his social and personal relationships, he'll still do it for that fame. Like now, doctor, he'll, he'll, um, let me ask you this. How often are you in the gym? I'm in the gym every day. Yeah. How many, how, how many, how much time? 45 minutes. You don't really need that's it? more than, yeah, yeah. And I listen to the pod while I'm there too. I'm just in Love and out. That. And, 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 and then can we, can we take off the shirt, please? Can we take a look at the, oh, you know yeah, what? under the natural lighting and stuff? You know what? You know what? I'm in the hospital now. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope no one walks in, but Me we're too, doing, doctor. We're, Me we're too, doctor. Me too, doctor. It took a lot of convincing. Wow. <laughs> doctor. Uh, doctor Fidel. Talk to me, baby. Let's see, I was never cut out for this. Look at that cake. That cakewalk. Women is yeah, turning the beautiful uh, world. Mean another life, man. Who's histrionic around here? <laughs> For real. <laughs> uh, doctor. Well, <laughs> you and Jimmy might have more in common than you than you uh than you know. <laughs> I do want to say I do want to say one thing about Jimmy. I've had these long, uh, deep conversations with him. He's really he's he's a good guy, and um, I actually told him that my my brother is applying to dental school, and he without any favors and i thought like oh no way jimmy would help him he called my brother up talked to him on the phone like 30 minutes of advice what the heck he put two admissions counselors from dental schools on the call with them and that's Damn. just like okay that's really nice of him he's just a really 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 nice he, guy he will come in clutch like that sometimes yeah um and he does have a good heart like you're saying like everyone does saying, yeah I'm, also something that i could say in his favor is like whenever he's in the you know the deli is causing a muck he's always got long-term friends with them so he 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 has the ability to keep long-term uh friendships going which says a lot you know about a, a person yeah yeah for sure well that was nice that was that was great that he did that for your brother all right Exciting stuff. So officially not a HIPAA violation. We're, we're, we're calling officially it here. Officially not a HIPAA violation. So what would be a HIPAA, HIPAA violation if not this? If you were my actual patient, yeah. Okay, okay, I see. He's not your patient. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Got it. Uh, well, yeah. then then you want to disclose anything else about him that now? Uh, just if you want to give out any other dirt on him since we're on the call. Uh, Not yet. I not mean, yet, okay. We're... He's thinking, uh, I've given the idea of going to New York Comic Con, uh, so that'd be really, really fucking hilarious. So maybe that'll come through. If he wants to go to LA and like meet you guys, but if that's like the backup plan. Also, I want to call out Dr. Mike Pussy. Oh, yeah, he, is, he, is, he is. Let's go. There's a new doc in town. And, <laughs> Pussy. Uh, Pussy? <laughs> I'll fight you whenever, man. That's what's up. We got to set that up, Whoa. doctor. Okay. Doctor. Okay, I'm they're sold. Both in, they're both in Florida, yeah? 
Oh, they're you guys are both in Florida. Yo, you gotta track him down. Go to his practice. I think I think Dr. Mike's in New York. Dr. Mike, Dr. Dr. Oh, Mike's in New York. Oh, I'm in Florida. He went on but... a yacht during COVID right. in Miami. Let me ask you this. I would never do that. <laughs> Uh, how tall? I are... personally would never do that. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> how tall are you, Doctor? I'm five eleven. Okay, because he's like six two. You think you could take him? I don't. I, no, I li I live in a war zone before, man. I, I can take a little Doctor Mike pretty okay. good. Yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I see where this. Were you born in Lebanon? <laughs> I was actually born in New York, um, but. It's a war was, zone. Like, some immig <laughs> yeah, immigration issues like with my parents. So we ended up getting like deported. I spent most of my childhood and like high school years up there. I came back for medical school here and they didn't they said like, oh, you have to be this plastic surgeon, like unless you're not a doctor. So when I chose the field of psychiatry, they're like, well, what the fuck is this? You're basically like I still don't get like approval sometimes from my parents, but I think they're like a way more accepting now and like any any arab or a lot of foreign cultures like whatever you end up doing you're never going to get the approval but you're never going to be successful unless you fully embrace like what you want to do so i made the joke about like ab like failing out of medical school that was a really that hit him hard though. just to let you know doctor that was a low blow <laughs> it really hurt his feelings i could tell no no no, no. and i i said Ouch. like that was something so brave that i wanted to do it so many times and if i didn't find myself in psychiatry i, I really love this shit. I would be just looking at X, like in medical school and like in my rotations, I'm like, I look at an x-ray, I don't give a shit. I look at people's urine and stuff. It's like, I don't care. I can't do that for the rest of my life. So the fact that he took that huge step and went against the grain is successful. Like, there you I'm, go. I'm, I'm, I'm proud Love of you. For AB. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Now let me ask Appreciate you this, it. doctor, before we say goodbye. Um, listen, I've been a little stressed. Can I get a script for some Xanax, please, before we go? <laughs> All right, thank you, doctor. Uh, your Lexapro's not working out. I, I, I need a supplementation. You know, just a little something thank on top so much to keep, to keep me chill. Yeah, yeah we I'll send you my uh, pharmacy. All right, doctor. All right. All right. Care, thank bro. you, doctor. All right. If you want me to diagnose anyone else in the future, just like uh, oh, that's a, up. that's actually a good resource. Or I'm if sure. you want to do a psych evaluation live on anyone in the future, White Claw Gabe, perfect. Well, mm, let's, let's not evaluate no, White Gabe. Claw. Yeah, he's a yeah, good man. We like him. You know who I would like to evaluate? The guy who puts his dick in peanut butter. Yep. Oh boy. I would also. I, I have a I love it. for that guy. Should we? I, but, but he might be a sexual predator. <laughs> yeah. Or no, no. Man? And, you we, know, I can. You guys can watch it. It'd be it'd be really awesome. But yeah, let me know if you guys need anything. Okay. Fan of the show. All right. Thanks. I'll send you my pharmacy. Okay, doctor. Thanks for calling. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Take yeah. care. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. Uh, doctor. Doctor Fidel. What an unexpected treat. Yeah, that was a nice little uh, side mission we went on. I always love when we get people on the phone right away. It's it's the yeah, magic of live. You know what I mean? This shit doesn't happen. When you pre-record, that's live. why we do it live. Do it and live. nobody does what we do four hours a week. No, we'll do it live, live. unscripted. It. I wish we did four Fuck hours it. a week. Jesus, a lot more we than a like, day. We do like yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nobody makes this much content live. Well, um, I'm here live. It's not. I'm not a cat. Okay, let's just go with it. Just yeah. ride with. Yeah, me, yeah, you're right. Nobody does it like us. That's just right. Ride with me. That's right. Thank you.